the ocean is a constant source of seismic background noise. My name is Jonas, and I'm a PhD student in the Seismology and Wave Physics group at ETH Zurich. In this video, I want to present SANS, a web framework where we make daily global seismic ambient noise source maps for the secondary microseisms available to the public. Secondary microseisms are generated when two ocean waves traveling in opposite directions overlap, which in turn creates a vertical pressure wave that travels down to the ocean bottom and causes a tiny displacement. The strength of these depends on the wave height, so if we have a storm in a certain region, that causes more dominant noise sources. But how can we use seismic data to locate these dominant noise sources? One efficient data-driven method to locate noise sources is constant velocity match field processing. For a possible noise source location, we calculate the expected travel time difference for a station pair. The travel time difference tells us at which lag in the cross-correlation we expect a signal if there is a source at that particular location. We take the value of the square envelope of the cross-correlation and add it to the noise source power of that location. We repeat this for all possible noise sources and station pairs to obtain a probability distribution of where the dominant noise sources are. Previously, we introduced an inversion method based on the logarithmic energy ratio measurement, which takes the ratio of energies in the expected surface wave arrival time windows. By using the MFP map as a starting model for the inversion, we can steer the inversion in the right direction and improve our final noise source maps. As this synthetic test shows, compared to a homogeneous starting model, the MFP starting model leads to a final inversion model that is closer to the target model. In collaboration with the Swiss National Supercomputing Center, CSCS, we are able to automate the whole process. Every morning we download data for the previous day and perform simple processing steps before computing the daily cross-correlations. These correlations are subsequently used to run the inversion and create a seismic ambient noise source map which is uploaded to the website sans.ethz.ch. On the website, a user can find the final results of the noise source inversions. For example, for the 8th of October 2023, we can see some inversion parameters, the final noise source map, a significant wave height, which acts as a reference of where we would expect more dominant noise sources, a sensitivity map to show the regions where the inversion should be able to constrain the noise source as well, and finally the misfit evolution during the inversion. Additionally, a user can download either all files and plots for one day or the final model for multiple days. We also provide some code to show how to read and plot the inversion files. This hopefully helps users to implement the daily seismic ambient noise source maps into their own research. We hope that providing daily global seismic ambient noise source maps will help improve ambient noise tomography and monitoring methods. The maps also act as a reference to other studies that aim to locate secondary microseismic noise sources. Check out the website or the publication if you want more information, and feel free to contact us if you have any further questions. Thanks for watching.